Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we got a new player home settlement slash workshop, whatever we want to think about it as. This one is called the Dream House, which is vibrant, apparently. There's not a non-vibrant version, but this is a vibrant thing. We are here at Abernathy Farm. You can tell it's Abernathy Farm because the big old, what is that, like a power tower, right? Power line tower. There's this little trailer behind Abernathy Farm by the grave. Where the dude had to bury his daughter because the raiders killed her and you want to get the locket back all the things there's a grave back here there's just a little security shed there's just a little bomb on the ground here it doesn't even give you a, or at least for me anyway it doesn't give me a prompt to activate it but if you do hit hang on it it'll teleport you um and here we are we're in the dream home i'm gonna put my gun away because i don't think i necessarily need to have my gata apparently it won't let me can i put my gun away thank you but yeah this is the dream home so this is a player home this is glass i'm running into it so this we can access here. We have a big old pool, big old lakeside house. So obviously this is one of those ones that's not really immersive at all. We got big old boats here. We got just pretty beautiful skies. Obviously I have um, 76 weather still installed, so I'm gonna get my nice like over enhanced colors here. We got big old like tiki hut type of things on the water, right? Maybe you can go fishing out here or something. You got your boats. Not that the boats probably work or anything, obviously, but they're, they're there. You can't even get on them. Just testing for, you know, testing. Say, so can we just automatically access the build? Yeah, we can automatically access building here. So if I wanted to throw down some chairs. I don't have any materials here. I could give myself some and do all that. Um, but there's obviously some built-in furniture here. We have a couch here. Remember, we spawned in here. There's what, like a little side room here with some statues and stuff. Look, it's a lion. Looks a nice brick walling here, right? It is very much like a modern, realistic, real life. Well, maybe it is like the home of the future, though. Um, can we open that door? No, that door. I mean, there's some texture glitches here. I think, you know, there's a chance that that's my fault. That's the chance that's the mod's fault. You know, that's how mods kind of work. We have our big old kitchen in here, which looks very nice. It's a nice looking kitchen. We also have a little side pass here out to some more, just like, I guess, chairs. Can we sit in any of this? Chair sit? I can sit in the chair. That does count as a chair or like some kind of sofa or whatever. We can obviously go in third person so you can see myself sitting here. It is working. That is something. At least we have functioning seats. But we also have all of this extra room here. What is this? Just like a little pond thing. We also have, I mean, obviously it's a very beautiful location. It's a dream house. It's like, this is your dream home. This is where you'd want to live, even in real life. Look at this. It's just massive. It's too big for me. I would never ever want to live in something this big. This is just, this is just too much space. Plus, you know how much cost it would, it would cost to, like, provide electricity to this place? We do have an upstairs, which you haven't accessed yet, which we're heading to next. Um, nice little curved staircases, two of them leading both up, I imagine. There's some weird stuff there. I could not just like walk up. Like a, my character's kind of getting stuck on those stairs. That's a little bit jank. I don't like that. Um, but I guess like a master bedroom area up here. This is, these are just huge areas. I don't even, like can't even conceptualize what I'd fill this with. I'm really trying to look for where the workshop is though, because I mean, unless I guess you have to bring your own materials in here and then craft something because i would really like to just be able to to store all my stuff right but it is like a hidden workshop it is a workshop you can access but not like you'd have to like well for me anyway i'd have to craft like yeah because we don't have any of these containers to access right there's no built-in containers and stuff which i mean i do think is gonna hold something against it for me anyway there's a nice pretty green tree though right with some flowers and all that stuff it is a beautiful location right we got a beautiful pool can get into it here actually in the water i don't know why my underwater looks so weird but it is you can drink it it's probably clean right obviously no radiation and stuff just keep drinking the water i have health to gain <laughs> but i'm not actually gonna gain my whole health this way uh do we, do we climb out here i guess there's no actual function can i jump out yeah you just jump out this is pretty though like this this view is beautiful it's a nice player home it is vibrant and obviously for the creative types out there the people that actually have a creative bone in their body unlike me could probably come up with something pretty cool to to design in here right but for me it just seems like too big of a space and it's just not i mean it's not nearly immersive enough i really don't i'm not a fan of like leaving the main map location to go somewhere else there's there's some really cool design here and i give them props like i wouldn't want to live here in real life because it's so big but like i do like some of the design things these lights are cool looking right with like the different shapes and stuff and the different rays coming off of them and stuff right like there's lots of cool couches and stuff. This is kind of weird. Like, I guess these are containers you can store things in, but why is there like wood blocks in there? I don't know. It's just, it's, it's kind of weird for my personal taste, but I'm sure someone out there is like, oh my God, this is exactly where I wanted to live. 
Thank you, Pop on Top, for showing this mod. So that's what I'm doing it for, right? And, you know, if you guys want to live, have your character live at the dream house that is vibrant, you can check out the link at the top of the description. There'll be a link there to the Bethesda Dynet page. You can access the Xbox version of the mod there or PS4 version. I think this is maybe using the external assets, but maybe, not. maybe this is one. This is one of those ones that maybe the PS4 actually gets a version of and the PC version on the Nexus if I can find it. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like ring down below. I greatly appreciate that. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe that we can check out more videos and such from me. And pretty much other than that, I will see you guys in the next episode.